Hey, hey, how you doing, people out there? Hey, I want to give a good shout out for Cloverdale 87. I hope I got it right, man. Thank you very much, man. You just don't know how bad my foot is killing me today. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's not going to be a long video, but it just goes to show you how much YouTube can help people just by people knowing people on this channel. Man, it's, it's a mind-blowing experience. Anyway, I'm so sorry. I just know that thing's going to work. Cloverdale 87. I hope I'm saying that right. A big shout out to this man here. He sent me a video or a, a link to the iWalk. It's called the iWalk 2.0. And uh, <clears throat> what it is, it's a hands free crutch. And my, my pain is just out of this world, man. And, I could take the most strongest pain pill they give me, which is, uh, which they have given me. I don't take it no more because I don't like taking it. I got a couple, I got a couple of morphine pills tucked, tucked back in the, in the, <laughs> back in the drawer because <laughs> sometimes the pain is just so bad that it's unreal and I have to take it, you know. But man, I want to thank you and a big, big shout out. I wish I could just greet you to this camera, grab onto you and hug you, man. You're so wonderful. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. A thousand thank yous. I just can't say it. Thank you. And thank you again. <laughs> I just always wondered, man, if there's just something that I could figure out or something that... The hospital, you know, I go to the doctor's office. I go to the, uh, uh, I went to the doctor's office to get refooted for another boot. And my toes hang over the end of it. It scrapes my toes when I walk. And the lady did, the lady asked me, she says, well, what is that thing? Because my old one just wore completely out. And I'd only had that one for, let's see, not even three months. And it already wore out completely. The buttons were busting loose on it and everything. But the gum thing only cost it's only going to cost me $165, and I just think that's way underpriced, man. I, I would be willing to pay $500, $1,000. I'm not kidding, man. I would pay that much for them. I would pay that much for that apparatus, man. I just uh, I just know that I'm going to bust into tears when I walk on that thing, and I'm going to put it on, and I'm going to film myself walking on it for the first time because I see all the reviews on YouTube, and there's... I just can't believe the hospitals aren't aren't uh, offering that information to me, you know? How I could fall through the cracks. How come the hospitals aren't, you know, because that's just one thing that's important to me is not being able to put my foot on the ground. I don't want to put it on the ground, and I don't like crutches, and I don't like that bulky-ass oh, oh, knee walker with wheels on it. It's, it seems like I can't even move around with it. Uh... You turn the wheels, and I fell on it before. It's just a pain in the butt to get in and out of the car. <laughs> Hell, I'm not even liable to order me three of them. <laughs> or at least two. No, one to use and one for backup, man. Oh. Anyway, I, I really thank you, Cloverdale. Thank you. Thank you very much, man. You just don't know how much you've helped me. That's going to help me so much, man. It's going to help it to where I can just go on and on like the energizers are bunny i'm not have to, i'm not ha gonna have to worry about putting my daggum foot in prison because that's exactly what that daggum boot that i wear every day it's like putting my foot inside of a prison every day sometimes i don't even wear it because it's so bulky it's heavy to carry around but that thing there it just looks like it's worth a million bucks to me i just can't I'm getting so emotional just thinking about my first step in that thing. I just can't wait to put my first, plant my first step on that thing and just go all day. I'm going to want to go walk my dog. I'm going to gonna go walk around the mall for once. I'm going to want to help my wife a lot. I can just tell you on and on and on and on and on and on about the only day I'm thinking I'm not going to use it for is driving. <laughs> <sighs> Man, I could have used that like two years ago because uh, 
I've been going through this pain with my foot, man. I got neuropathy on the bottom of it, and uh, I should already be out of that daggum thing by now, I'm thinking. And Anyway, I just can't thank you enough, Cloverdale. Thank you very much, man. And uh, <laughs> y'all, I'm telling y'all, man, y'all... I just can't get over it, man. How come the hospitals hasn't offered that? And I'm just repeating myself now, and I'm going to get off here and let y'all go. But I just can't believe the hospitals out there ain't offering that right now. Surely if uh, there's a dealer out there making money off of it, the hospitals could grab something up, man, and, and use their brains to do that, man. I just can't believe it. I'm going to have to walk in the hospital and say, hey, look, man, I've been screwing around with y'all boots forever, man. How come y'all don't offer this? It sure could help some people out here. And if they do got it, I'm going to be awfully pissed off at them. Because all this time they could have been helping me. <sighs> anyway, I'll get off here and let y'all go, man. Hey, man. Hands down, man. Thank you, man. Knuckle up, dude. <laughs> I love you so much, man. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. And I'm sure my family's going to thank you now. Because I ain't going to be asking everybody in the world, Give me this. Give me that. Go over here. Go over there. I just can't say enough about that, man. Anyway, y'all be good. And, uh, uh, well, I guess I could go ahead and uh, finish the video, man, with Pete. Uh, yeah, I, I, I was so blessed that I got to go back over to work at Pete's place, man. He's, uh, I missed him so much for so long and hard, dude. And I had to, I had to watch my dogs because it wasn't, you know, in an environment I could just, uh, one of my dogs he can't be crated at all man he will go absolutely nutso and i couldn't leave uh my dogs over there <laughs> unattended in that house and uh i had to work for that i had to work at that place where i didn't really like working that much anyway but uh Man, my dreams are starting to come true again. There's actually a big old bright light at the end of the tunnel on Pete's hand. Pete's holding the daggum, oh, what do you call it, the uh, Cecil McGee flashlight there, there in that light, man. That's what it is, man. He's over there. He's got that big old flashlight that's about this big with a big old headlight in the middle of it. He, he shined that light bright as hell for me at the end of that tunnel. I can't tell you. I can't tell you. Kudos for Pete, man. That dude's a good, that good, that dude is good to the core, man. He really, he really gave me a break again, man. And, uh, <clears throat> it solved a lot of my issues and I'm doing so much better. But, uh, I'll see y'all later and, oh yeah. My son put that laptop in, in rice. <clears throat> I think it's going to be okay, man. He turned it on and said it was doing all right. But I think it's going to be okay. I'm hoping it is. I'm hoping it's not still sitting there because it didn't work and he's having to throw it back in there. But uh, anyway, I'll, I'll see y'all later. I'm going to get off here and let y'all go. And uh, love y'all lots, man. And I'll keep you posted, man. Y'all be good. Bye-bye. Till next time. Peace out.